So the topic for today's session is Oracle Certification Steps. This is Hassan Mir from Zero2ProTraining.com. In this session, we will talk about the steps that one will go through in order to achieve an Oracle certification. Step number one is you need to identify the certification that you wish to target. Keep in mind that most of Oracle certifications are geared towards a job role. There are a few exceptions, for example, expert certifications, and there's a separate video on the topic of which certification you should target. But here we are discussing the stats. So most likely the certification that you would like to do would be related to your job role. And you can go to Oracle website. I'm going to show you after this slide. You're going to start with your job role, and then you're going to narrow down to the product and then you can see what options are available to you. The good starting point is the website education.oracle.com and from that website click on the certification tab at the top and this will bring you to a page that will let you do a search for what options are available to you in terms of certification. So if, if I scroll down I will see this page this section here called Oracle Certification Finder and this is what I was looking for and it is a four step process step one is you need to select your job role so here let's assume that we are a database administrator but you can do the same process for any job role to find out what options are available to you here I'm gonna select database administrator once you select your job role, then Oracle will give you the product areas, which is grouping of products. And once you select your product area, then Oracle will give you the list of product groups belonging to that area. Again, this is grouping of products. Product area is a broader grouping, and product uh, group is little narrower grouping. And once you select the product group, then Oracle will give you all the products in that group. So keep in mind, a job role could span multiple products or uh, multiple product areas as well but this is how you do the selection you select the job role then only those product areas are visible where this job role is applicable once you select the product area then only those product groups are visible that are uh, belonging to this product area and once you select the product group then only those products are visible that belongs to that product group so coming back to the website let's say I'm a database administrator of Oracle database okay so in the product area I'm gonna select the databases I could have been let's say a database administrator for applications database or some other system so here I'm gonna select the database and now which database we have Oracle database MySQL and so on I'm gonna select Oracle database and in step 4 which version of Oracle database let's say 11G so as I do the selection in these four steps at the bottom I'll see all the options available so for a database administrator role for Oracle database 11G these are the certifications and I have to select one of these certification as my target before I go to the next steps so again this is just an example I'm going through if you are a developer you may choose the development role if you are an implementer of eBusiness Suite or PeopleSoft for example you can select a role of implementer and so on but the process is going to be pretty much the same in another video I have talked about different certifications what do they mean OCP then we have expert certification we have OCA associate certification and so on so you can take that video to understand the differences between these but here the topic of this session is the steps to achieve a certification so I'm gonna let's say I want to be an a, a professional okay I want to achieve Oracle certified professional certification in 11G administration so this is what I'm going to select once you click on your desired certification you're gonna see a next page so this is the next page that you see once you click on your desired certification so if I scroll down and to the right a bit 
So put it like this, I clicked on professional certification I came to this page. If I would have clicked on associate certification I would have come to the same page. If I would have clicked on master certification I would have come to the same page. So in this page Oracle is giving you a comparison of all the certification paths that are available for that job role and the product that you selected in the wizard. And here you have another chance to compare different options and here you have another chance to see if you want to do associate certification or professional or master and obviously you can't do professional unless you have done associate and you can't do master unless you have done professional I have talked about this concept in another video so step one is completed I have selected for myself OCP professional certification for administration of 11G and obviously assumption is that I have done associate certification so I want to move on to professional certification so this step is done next step is to identify required courses and exams what does that mean okay so there are some certifications that require you to write one exam that is simple yet there are some other certifications that require you to write more than one exam maybe two exams and that is simple to understand as well however there are some certifications that require you to take one or more courses from Oracle directly that may be instructor led course or maybe online course it all depends on the requirement but you'll be uh, required to take one or more courses on top of writing one or more exams so that's why step two is identify required courses and exams and if there are courses that you are supposed to take then obviously you will take courses first before you write the exam so that the courses will become part of your studies however Oracle will not have an issue if you write the exam first and just take course after that just to complete your requirements for the certification Oracle doesn't have an issue with that but logically obviously you're going to take courses first and then you write the exams so coming back to the website this is a certification that I'm interested in professional certification path okay so take a look at this first step within this certification is telling me that I have a prerequisite that I should complete and that is prior certification Oracle database 11G administrator certified associate so I should already have this associate certification before I can even move on with professional certification okay so that I understand step two is complete training so here you can see I am required to take complete one of the approved advanced courses I'm required to take one course from Oracle okay and then I'm required to write one exam and once I'm done taking the course and writing the exam then I'll finally complete this form so obviously I will take the course first and then write the exam but this is not the sequence is not forced upon us by Oracle so let's click on step to complete one of the approved advanced courses so I want to know which course I have to take so click on that so you will see this page and you can scroll down so now I have to select the certification that I'm interested in again before I can see the list of right courses okay at this point Oracle doesn't know although I'm coming from professional page but Oracle has not picked that up so I have to tell this the website again so I'm gonna click on Oracle database 11g administrator certified professional I'm interested in professional not master professional so I'm taking to the section Oracle database 11g administrator certified professional I have to click on show hide when I click on show I see all these courses so obviously I'll take the course that is relevant to the topics in my, in my in my exam okay so I'm writing an administration exam and I'm doing a professional level exam not the associate level so I'm gonna select Oracle database 11g administration workshop one or two based on what topics are there that are matching with my exam topics okay so I'm not gonna be taking introduction to SQL Oracle is forcing me to take one of these courses I can take any course okay but it's my 
responsibility for my sake to choose the relevant course. So maybe I'm going to take one of the administration courses. So step two is completed. I have identified the courses that I'll have to take, one course I'll be taking, and the exams that I will have to write. One exam I will be writing. Once I do those two things, I will have the certification in my hand. So just a recap. This is the exam I will have to write. 1Z0053 and one of these courses I will be taking, most likely something related to administration. So I can click on the exam and I can take a look at the topics that are included in the exam okay so here you can see exam preparation and exam topics here Oracle is recommending courses that you can take from Oracle in order to prepare for this for this exam or you can go to exam topics to see what topics are included in your exam okay and once you're taking the course you can do the same thing for the course and see what topics are covered in the course and you would like to take the course that is matching with the exam topics. Here Oracle is telling me what I will learn in this course and course topics. You can see the course topics.